This completely different rock that I recently cut open weighs three pounds, seven ounces. And when you compare the size of this rock to this rock, you can see they are extremely similar in size, but this rock weighs almost a whole pound less than the other one. Well, here we have it all cleaned up and we have options, guys. Options of places to cut it open. Little window here bands, little window here bands, window here bands, where else? Oh huge window right here. We got bands are on the outside with some quartz. Little itty bitty pocket right there. These bands run along here. You could cut it right in through here and try to get that pattern that's shooting through there, but I want a bigger geode cavity on the inside. So we're going to go for it, you guys. Super cut, mega cut, just like that. We're going to run the blade right in through there, all the way through this thing, and hopefully we got amazing crystals on the inside. Ready to hear the sound? Totally a geo. Oh, we got bands around the outside there. We got bands around the outside right there. I am just gonna quickly give this thing a rinse. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm gonna keep recording so you can see. Are you guys ready to see? <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at how this takes forever to spin. Look at how beautiful that geode egg it is. Oh my gosh. This is, this is one of the best geodes I've ever cut open. And all the years, it's got agate bands around the outside. Oh, man, oh man, look at that. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I think we caught it in just a perfect spot. Do you see why? This is completely open. And this side has that. If we would have caught it a little bit more on this side, this side would be filled in. Oh, that is so, like we literally caught it perfectly. We split the crystals, not just the bands, we split the crystals. Open cavity, little bit of a quartzy face with bands. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Oh, I'm gonna get a little toothbrush and I'm gonna clean this off a little bit and see if we can get rid of any of that staining and then we'll dry it off and the bands from the cut face won't look super good, but the crystals will look nice and they'll be extra sparkly. So like I said, 
It's not gonna make the agate cut face look very good because you're gonna see all the saw marks, but the crystals look really nice. Very sparkly, very, very pretty. Amazing. Oh, I love that so much. So cool. Now I know what you're thinking. Now what do you do with it? Well, I am working on polishing bigger faces, but I haven't quite perfected it. So content like that, something you might need to just wait a little bit for, but if you ever want to see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications on. So ever since I picked up this egg and nodule, I could not stop thinking about what kind of crystals are in the inside, how big's the pocket, how amazing are the crystals, is there bands around the outside of it? So I'm really excited that we got such a magnificent geode agate from that cut. I don't think it could have been any better. <sighs> it's so awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this short little lapidary adventure where we cut open a potential geode agate and find a massive geode agate. It was so awesome. We'll see you next time. Bye.